morning announcements. Hi, it's me, Miss Henley, and I'm so glad you're here today. Everyone, please stand and join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. And now for our Tiger Pledge. Today I will try my best. Imagine my possibilities and give respect. I will be eager to learn, realize my worth, and smile every day. Our guidelines for success go like this. Focus. Focus on the positive. Intent. Practice positive intent. Safety. Keep it safe. Helpfulness. Be helpful to others. Encouragement. You can do it. Respect. Show respect to others and myself. And now for a moment of silence. Are you ready for the school family song? Well, here we go. You are my family, my school family. I feel happy when you are here. I hope you know, friends, how much I love you. When we're apart, I'll keep you near. On Espanol. Familia somos en la escuela. Estoy feliz cuando están aquí. Quiero decir es cuanto los quiero. Cuando no están, los llevo aquí. Okay, my friends, now it's time to wish well. So look around your classroom and see who in your school family is not here today. Let's put them in our hearts and let's wish them well. We wish you well, we wish you well, all through the day today, we wish you well. Te deseamos lo mejor, te deseamos lo mejor, todo lo día de hoy, te deseamos lo mejor. And then send out all your love and well wishes. Student Council is having a fundraiser. We voted to raise $1,000 to donate to Ronald McDonald's house. Oh. Ronald McDonald's house provides living space for families who have children that are very sick and spend a long time in the hospital. It gives them a place to stay close to the hospital. It also helps them save money because they don't have to drive every day and can cook meals instead of buying food from restaurants. Student Council will be selling items before school to raise money for the Ronald McDonald House. Mochis are 50 cents each. Smelly pencils, one dollar each. One large stickers, one dollar each. Stickers, one dollar each. Pops, two dollar stickers. Thank you for supporting Student Council and the Ronald McDonald House. Good morning, Fisher Tigers. Happy Thursday. I have a lot to talk about today, so let's get right into it. First thing I want to congratulate our Name That Book 
team. When you see our Name That Book team in the hallway or in the cafeteria or in your classroom or at lunch, wherever you see them, make sure to tell them a big congratulations. Our team represented Fisher and they earned first place in the entire district. We just had the competition this past Saturday. Here are our team members and they killed it. They did not get one question wrong. It was wonderful. So you will see this great big trophy in the, like where we display the trophies and awards after you eat lunch in the cafeteria and you walk down, you'll be able to see that trophy and great big congratulations to our team. Good job guys. Then I also want to say a great big thank you to everybody in this school for all of the gifts and the cards and the flowers and the cookies and the chocolate and everything else that you did uh, for Librarian Appreciation Day last week. It was wonderful. It made me feel very, very loved. And yes, I do read through every single message that you wrote me. So thank you so much for taking the time to do that. If I was actually in the library, you would see all of those things on display, hanging and taped to the walls and everything. Um, unfortunately, the library is not done yet. So I've just taken all of your treats and your cards and your gifts. I, I took them home with me. And from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for thinking of me and for taking the time to appreciate me. Loved it. Now let's talk about the library schedule. Um, really for the remain remainder of the school year. And when I say library, I mean at this point, like coming to Miss Gilbert's room. I'm going to show you a calendar of April and May so you can see all of the events that we have coming up, some of the closures, as well as when I will need books back in the library, AKA Miss Gilbert's room at the end of the year. So take a peek here. This is for the month of April. Next week will be a pretty normal week. I will have GT pullouts. The following week, starting with April 22nd, this will be the last week that kids will active, actually be checking out books. The following week, you're able to come for class, but you will not be checking out books. So the district is getting rid of our current platform that we use to check in and out books, and we are getting a new program. Unfortunately, that leaves us without any like technology for checking in and out books starting at the 26th and going all the way until like May 8th. In other words, I cannot check out books and I cannot check in books from April 26th until May 8th. That is why I'm ending checkout so early. So when you come during this week, the week of the 22nd, your students are still getting new books. When you come during this week, the last week in April, first week in May here, they're just going to be listening to a story. No book checkout. You can keep your books. That'll be optional for teachers because the following week in May, you have map testing and I don't want to leave you without any book. So what I'm saying is last week of checkout here, come to the library, Miss Gilbert's room for a read aloud. And then the following week, the library will just be closed. Miss Gilbert's room will be closed until May 9th. That's when I need all of the books brought back. During the seventh and the eighth, when you have map testing, as long as the books stay in the classroom, it will be okay with me if you do like a little book swap so that students have fresh books after that test, because I know by then the books that they have checked out, they'll probably have read all of them. So as long as you are keeping track that the books are staying in your classroom, it's okay to swap books. When you come on May 9th, all of those books need to be returned. Uh, probably I will still be in Miss Gilbert's room right here. So on May 9th, at any time during the day, you can walk your class down. You're just gonna drop books off and then you're going to leave. By then, the new system for checking in books should be working, and hopefully I will be able to run reports and everything on the 10th so I can deliver overdue notices to your classroom. That was a lot. Just to go back and see the calendar one more time, you can also see there's a lot of 
days that we have special events for the library will be closed and I won't be able to have class like I'm helping out with field day tomorrow. So the Miss Gilbert's from the library will be closed. And then two weeks from now, on the 26th, I'm going on the second grade field trip. It'll be closed again when I'm assisting with the star. So lots of stuff going on. Take a peek, see if it affects your class. And I will do my best to send like courtesy emails letting you know like if I'll be in Miss Gilbert's room, if I won't be, when to bring books back and all that. So you don't have to memorize everything. But just to review, we really only have three more weeks left after like this week. And during one of those weeks, I won't be doing any checkout. Mark down May 9th so that May 9th you bring all of your books back. The students have their books and um, you're able to return them so that I can start running my overdue report. All right, that is it. Have a great Mindful Thursday. Moment. Fading tone. Sit with your back straight and your body relaxed, resting your hands gently on your knees. Close your eyes or keep them open if you'd like. Now, listen for the bell. Whenever you hear it, listen to the sound as it fades away and place your hand on your heart when you can't hear it anymore. I'll ring the bell a couple more times. Remember to stay with the sound all the way till the end and place your hand on your heart when you can't hear it anymore. Did your mind wander? Were you able to listen to the sound all the way to the end? Now I'm going to play some different sounds. Sometimes the sound will be short, and sometimes the sound will be long. Sometimes it might be loud, and sometimes it might be soft. Pay close attention, and this time, put your hand on the top of your head as soon as you hear the sound stop. Let's try it again, and this time, put your hand on one of your shoulders as soon as you hear the sound stop. Remember to pay close attention to the sound all the way through to the end. One more time, and this time, put your hand back on your heart when you hear the sound end.
Well done. Way to listen. Give yourself a hand.